Also, my friends, Hodge 20 x here. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can install uh, IS13 in a Windows computer. Uh, this is very easy. We got Windows here, and what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna proceed to download this program right here in this website. Right away, download this program, and make sure you have the latest version of iTunes because we're going to use iTunes Force 110, and it's to be for a backup. So, open iTunes, look for iTunes right here and the first thing that you're gonna proceed is to make a backup of your device that's important okay all right and make sure to back it up all right in the meantime we're gonna proceed to open the installer right here and once we proceed to hit yes we're gonna prompt with this software right here we're gonna proceed to install make sure you back up your information that's important okay back it up and once you back it up that you pretty much done with iTunes okay all right so we're gonna close iTunes depending on how much information you got in your iTunes it's gonna take more time or less time so we're gonna dismiss this and we're gonna wait to this program uh, install the pretty much the installation is between three to five minutes of course it's depending on your uh, internet connection and also your CPU speed um, pretty much um, we got here an iPhone 6X running iOS 12.2 and we're gonna proceed to download iOS 13 beta 1 in this case uh, which is the current one that is uh, available uh, keep in mind that iOS 13 have a lot of bugs um, I don't recommend uh, the use iOS 13 uh, if you uh, use the main, as a main uh, device of course uh, so pretty much uh, once this program got installed, we're gonna proceed to uh, open the program. So we're waiting here. And I don't edit in this video by any chance, so you can see step by step uh, what you have to do. Very straightforward process. We almost finished in the installation, so we're gonna proceed to hit launch. All right, we got the pretty much the program open. So the first thing that you're gonna use, you're gonna prompt this option here. So you're gonna press close iTunes. In the meantime, you're gonna use this uh, this program. So you're gonna count one two, three, four, five. So you're gonna go to this tab right here. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna press IS13, and pretty much you're gonna download the software right here. So you're gonna press download, and pretty much you're downloading IS13 for this round, but in my case, I already have my download, so I don't wanna download uh, the ESPW. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna import, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for downloads here because I already uh, downloaded my my software so pretty much we're gonna go to downloads and right here we're gonna open and pretty much it's verifying that the SPW uh, but you also can download the software so it's verifying everything here so let this uh, the program do this thing and something that I had to mention uh, is you want to perform a clean installation uh, I highly recommend you use that but in my case uh, I'm gonna proceed with my information in the device so pretty much uh, you have this little toggle here that enables to retain your information if you uh, want that information be um, um, as an upgrade process not as a clean install you just let this option check out. But if you want a clean installation, you just go and disable this and press flash. But in my case, I'm gonna perform an upgrade, so I'm gonna perform flash. So this is what is happening uh, for iOS 12.2, upgrade to iOS 13. So we're gonna proceed to hit flash, and pretty much you're done. I mean, um, uh, the process will take uh, between 25 to 30 minutes, it's depending, of course, uh, 
the device that you have in this case I got an iPhone 6s um, and pretty much uh, the installations would take between 25 to 30 minutes of course that's depending of your CPU your cell phone uh, or iPhone iPad this is uh, compatible with pretty much every iOS device as long as it support iOS 13 uh, you can uh, upgrade uh, to iOS 13 with these two remember guys uh, make a backup of your iOS I mean if everything goes wrong you can always have a backup in iOS 12 so pretty much uh, we are starting, uh, extracting the software uh, ESPW which it takes some time especially I starting that uh, the size of that uh, ESPW is massive it's between uh, three three gigabytes almost four gigabytes which is impressive um, for pretty much uh, we are starting the software and we are waiting for the program to do his thing Right, we reached 6 and 3 20 minutes uh, 20 seconds and pretty much you can do this in between 30 minutes or less if you have this program it's fucking easy seriously uh, pretty much you have everything accessible uh, you can download the software right here you don't have to look for the ESPW and pretty much you're done um, we are in the process of flashing our software so you can see here that the installation process start to install iOS 13 in our device so I'm gonna open this iPhone right here and Lock here. I'll proceed to start here just to, to see how much it takes to install iOS 13 in iPhone 6S. As you can see here, the Apple logo with the status bar in the bottom. We reached two minutes in the installation process.
been five minutes in the installation we have there Let's see here Or uh, the process has been finished. Our device is in the process to be uh, to restart itself. Got the device here. We're waiting for the process to boot. You can disconnect your device anytime now, so you don't need to uh, the connection anymore. iPhone 6s
right, as you can see, we have the information right here. And pretty much should be done. We're gonna go to settings, general, about, and you can see here, we got iOS 13 here. And pretty much you're done. You know, if you want the dark mode, just go to brightness, and pretty much you go dark here, and pretty much you're done. I mean, I hope you like this video. As always, like and subscribe. And you know, remember this is a this is a, in this case this is a first beta, so expect expect that uh, weird glitches in the device. But as you can see, uh, it's running very smooth. Um, I don't see any problems whatsoever, um, but pretty much we are right now in beta 1 iOS 13, so we good. Well, I hope you like this video, as always, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching me, and see you in the next one. Goodbye.